Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been quite a long time since we posted a new video due to COVID. And now we are back. We'll be discussing the various countertops uh, that can be used in a model kitchen. And uh, let's get started. So countertops are basically mostly used for, uh, you know, having hot utensils on it. You know, you need dough, you chop vegetables. So they need to be very sturdy and very long lasting. Uh, they need to be very strong. Uh, they need to be somewhat bacteria resistant if that's possible and there are some countertop options that actually provide that nowadays they do not they need to be very smooth very easily cleanable uh, so that you know you're doing a lot of uh, chopping you're doing a lot of cooking work over there uh, it needs to make sure that you know it's somewhat stain resistant uh, so that the aesthetics of the countertop are actually preserved over a good period of time so the one of the best options that we always recommend to our clients is basically granite. So generally we have granite over here, and uh, this is this is the best option that we say it's a it's a natural stone. Uh, it generally has specks, which are these natural specks. It doesn't actually come in uh, uh, a lot of colors because you know natural stone it's generally in dark colors available, and it has these uh, natural specks to it also. Uh, but apart from that. It is the best option if you look at it from a very utility point of view. It's uh, it has great strength. It is very much uh, stain resistant because well, it's a non-porous material, so it doesn't absorb a lot of stains, uh, you know, and spices, haldi, masala. It doesn't absorb all those things. It's very heat resistant, so uh, any hot utensils that you're gonna keep on it, uh, it it doesn't impact it that way. It doesn't take away from its life a lot. So it is one of it is the best option that we actually suggest to our to our clients who who, who have like utility in their mind as a top priority. Uh, it is very durable, actually the most durable option, and uh, that's why we suggest this. The second option after that is quartz, which is basically you, you may have have an option over here of quartz. So now these things they actually come in. Yes, they are made of synthetic material and uh, they are, the, the main reason that why we use it is because of aesthetics. They can be, they can come in a lot of colors, specifically light colors. They can have uh, different kind of sparkles to it. They can have various kind of designs and patterns to it. So we have one over here. So it leads to, it provides you a lot of uh, aesthetic options uh, to, to play with the look of your kitchen. Uh, to add a different kind of color, to add a different element to it, to make it more appealing and uh, you know more 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 aesthetically uh, beautiful. So what happens with this is uh, this is actually not as durable as granite, but it's just like a tad bit less durable compared to granite. Uh, it is somewhat stain uh, resistant, but not as much uh, as granite. It has it is it has some pores to it, so. Over a period of time, it might get a little yellowed. It might get, uh, you know, it might have stains here and there, but that generally happens like six, seven years or five, six years plus down the line. Uh, it is, it is also, it is heat resistant to a good extent, and uh, generally the heat does not affect it a lot. Uh, if you keep hot utensils on it, it won't leave a mark. It won't take away a lot of life from it. Uh, generally, because it's a synthetic material, uh, if you take a design which is something like, let's say, like this design, so it has sparkles in it. So what happens with these sparkles are that over a period of time, uh, you know, these might get a little dented. These sparkles might just come off, and uh, yeah, that might lead to a little small crevices here and there over a period of time. But uh, that also mostly happens after five years or after six years, and yeah. So that's how we come to quartz, and that's why we suggest quartz to some people who, or some people who, who are not, who don't really want a very uh, strong option. They they are looking at aesthetics also. They want a certain character to be brought into their kitchen using a different pattern, using a different color. So quartz uh, works great in that. It does not take away a lot of the durability. Uh, which granite actually offers, but uh, it's, it's still very good, works very well, and uh, is, is actually a very good option. Uh, recommended by architects quite a lot, quite often nowadays. Uh, so that that's a very decent option you can go with. Uh, the third option is, uh, which is somewhat expensive and uh, used actually more in serving kitchens, I would suggest, as well as it, it's used as countertops in a lot of uh, 
commercial uh, settings, uh, commercial food courts and all that. So this option is basically Korean. So Korean is made of synthetic material uh, completely and uh, the advantage of that is that uh, the joints of Korean can be somewhat melted and merged together. So it gives a very seamless look. You can make quite a lot of uh, somewhat beautiful forms of it which you might have seen in you know various food court serving counters and they have like a certain design going through uh, it so so that's how the korean korean is somewhat malleable it can be uh, you, you can you can connect them and then heat them up so that uh, they, they, they merge together properly there are no joints so it can be used to create quite quite a few patterns to it the disadvantage is it's actually one of the least uh, stain resistant material that we have uh, that is another reason why you know if you go to food courts there will be scratches uh, on, on the counter on the countertops and uh, there will be like uh, yellowish marks on corners and stuff like that that is not because they are not trying to be clean it's just that uh, that material it's synthetic material it tends to absorb all these things it's a little soft it's not that hard it's not that durable so scratches and uh, skid marks, all these things appear a bit too often on it after a period of time. Uh, also, it is not exactly that heat resistant. If you are going to use it in a residential kitchen, we don't recommend it at all. Because if you put hot utensils on it over and over again, that it, it generally leaves a mark. And it leaves a mark very often and it's like you can't do anything about that mark later on also. It won't get resolved you'll have to like uh, completely dispose it off and use it again. So generally we don't use Korean. They have, they have like, it, it used to be very bad earlier uh, when it came four or five years ago. Now it is still somewhat heat resistant, but uh, it's still uh, not exactly very good for a residential kitchen and that's why we don't suggest it over there. A lot of people use it, but it generally gets, uh, in residential kitchen, day, it generally gets used in a show kitchen. Like if you have, you, you want to have a, serving counter area or you, want, or you want to have a kitchen where you are able to cook for your guests. Uh, it's generally not uh, used in a very heavy duty kitchen or a, a main kitchen where most of the food is uh, being made and prepped because it's not that durable. Apart from that, we have some other fancy materials that are used as countertops. Uh, we have stainless steel. The stainless steel kitchens, they use steel countertops. They are very good. Uh, there's no problem over there apart from the fact that Obviously, if you keep a hot utensil over there, it's uh, like it will take the heat, it won't leave a mark. So, you need to be a little careful with that. But apart from that, uh, a lot of commercial kitchens use it. It's very easy to clean, highly durable, uh, of course, very smooth. Uh, there are chances of uh, marks and crevices is, is next to nil. So, that's a very durable item and it can actually be used in uh, open kitchens as well. So, we have done some... Uh, courtyard kitchens in which you know you have like a, a commercial kitchen which is in a, in a, in a somewhat of in somewhat of an outside area so it's like a it's like a garden or in the middle of a garden or it's 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 like a big gazebo and you know it's at the center of oh, center over there so it works very well uh, that's not an issue apart from that some people use toughened glass uh, that's that's an element which actually gives a gives a, gives a great amount of character to the kitchen so people who are making expensive kitchens using high quality and expensive uh, expensive finishes on their kitchens, sometimes they use uh, toughened glass. Over there you can use quite a few patterns, you can use any sort of color that you want. It looks very good, it's a decent option. Uh, but again, I wouldn't suggest, it's not, it's not that durable, it's again used mostly in show kitchens, not exactly in, in main kitchens where you're supposed to uh, you know, prep, you're supposed to do, you know, hardcore chopping, you're supposed to do crushing of materials. Yeah, it's not it's not very conducive over there. Uh, it does uh, crack out a few times uh, if, you know, if used carelessly uh, or with a lot of force on this kind of a countertop. But apart from that, it's it's smooth, it's, it's good to the touch, uh, great aesthetically. Uh, so, yeah. So these are the basic uh, options that we have uh, for the countertop. And apart from that, uh, these are the ones that we offer to our clients most of the time. Uh, granite is our favorite. Uh, then generally we come to quartz. After that, uh, Korean and in show kitchens uh, where budget is generally not a problem, we do steel, we do toughened glass and all these things. 